Hello and welcome to the Diet Dr. Pepper series. We are at Legacy Texas this week the in the Gen 4. And we are about to go out for qualifying. I was about P4 in practice times, although I think times uh, shifted a little bit as time went on. Come on out here and see what we can do. There's been uh, kind of confusion and uh, uncertainty about what the tires are going to do. Some guys are saying they think that it's definitely going to go on the right rear and get loose over time. And then other guys like Billy are saying that uh, they're getting on the right front really hard. So hard, in fact, that uh, they looked like they were going to blow their right front. So, very interesting here. I'm going to try to hit a solid qualifying lap. Maybe try to push it a little bit on lap two. Just looking to keep it steady. That should be an okay lap. About a tenth off my optimal. But not too bad, I don't think. Juice on exit. Probably not going to be as good of a lap here unless I can really nail three and four somehow. Nah, but that's okay. 28.8 for the uh, current track conditions. I think that's pretty good. Right now, 10th up. But I'm sure there's lots of really fast guys still waiting to go. So, I'll definitely take that. Oh, you know what? I should, I should do a practice... Uh, Green flag stop. Kind of tricky to get on pit road here, so we'll get up to speed this lap and do a practice stop. I think I've found a good braking point. Hey, Shane's here. Sweet. I think he actually left. I think he might have already been here. I wasn't really paying attention, but I did see some uh, something happening connection-wise up there, so... Maybe he was already here. Good to see him either way. We will do the practice stop right now. The car's going to be harder to turn in later, of course, but kind of using that black bar on the outside. Ooh, that was a little close. You can't hit that cone. I made it, but that was a little close. You cannot hit that uh, cone on entry. Not the commitment line cone, but even the one that's a little further up. I've noticed in practice, so... This one right here that I got really close to. In fact, did I hit it? I might have hit it and it just didn't count. Oh, that's about as close as you can get, I think, without hitting it. Yeah, probably don't want to cut it that close in the race. Because I'm pretty sure if you hit that, you are in bad shape. So, <laughs> maybe don't cut it that close. But right now, pole time holding up. Alright. Love Texas. Always love Texas. I say that every Texas race that I uh, I do, so I'm not going to go on about that as I always do, but <laughs> always enjoy this track. I'm really curious about how the tires are going to wear. I didn't experience such heavy tire fall off as uh, Billy was describing, so hmm. We got five sets. Gavin was joking that uh, might not be enough. I think that should be enough. We should be able to survive with that. I'm just going to need my internet to stay connected. Basically gives us a nice lap. Thank you to him. Good luck to him as well.
Looks like we'll keep it too. Sweet. So we'll get the uh, pull start. Hopefully gain ourselves a lap lead. What is fuel? That's the end of the session. Pole also position. known as gasoline. It is a fossil fuel used to... Sorry. <laughs> Being stupid. Um... I don't know. You can't adjust the fuel, can you? I don't understand what that question is. Yeah, Shane making the same joke I'm making. Um, I am curious. Let's see. 42 laps estimated. So let's kind of formulate our... Oh, weird noises outside. Formulate our strategy a little bit. 167 laps. So let me get out my calculator. I always keep my calculator in my... Uh, Pocket protector. What is, was that what they're called? Like the little pockets on shirts? Whatever. <laughs> so 167. Divided by... Right, that's not how I want to do this, is it? So. Let's see. 42 laps. 42 times 4. 42. Mm -mm -mm. What if we do 42 times 167 divided by 3? 55. 55 laps? I can't do that. So we might have to pit a couple times if this goes green. 67 divided by 4. Can... It's like about 40 laps on fuel. Yeah. Barely make it. I think we just have to run it dry each yeah, time. Yeah, I was thinking. So that's interesting. That's very interesting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you go while we wait for warm-up to end. And I'll rejoin. I'll have you rejoin, I guess. Um, it's time to start the race. See you there. All right, we're back. And gridding up. Well, the warm-up was over really quick. We are on the pole. Hopefully we don't spin out in front of the field. <laughs> Always a concern. Good luck. Yeah, good luck, everybody. That's what I really should have been practicing. Best of luck, everyone. Try not to embarrass myself this time. Session last. We're going to try to be easy on the right front, I think. That's my guess, is we're going to be on the right front. I don't think it's going to be too bad if we're easy on it. You have five additional sets of tires during this race. Have a good race. That's pole. The track All right. is 96. Good luck to Rick DNA as well. 66 Fahrenheit. All right, I'm excited. I really hope I can stay in this race because I love Texas. Texas is one of my favorite Hello, tracks on iRacing. I would really enjoy being able to make it through the whole event. Second gear start. I'm going to save some fuel. Why did Chuck leave? He was starting P12. Did I miss something? Oh no. Huh. That stinks. It's always great racing him. He's a good competitor. And Testa. Well, he's back now. Shoot, that stinks. Might have been having some issues or something. Let's at least try to lead lap one if we can. Get some bonus points. Still had those back then. Back in this time period. Get ready. Going green. Okay, okay. Green flag, green flag. A little bit easy on the throttle, probably easier than I needed to be, just from being afraid, but... And uh, some guys did not make it. That's not what you want to I might have caused that, I actually started in fourth gear. Oh my god, Gavin did what? Yeah, I had to kind of check up and skeet from... Uh, oh no! Oh no! That's going to bring that glitch too, where some guys have to uh, get the wave around, I think. 
Yeah, I was trying to say fuel on the pay flap and I was rambling and just completely forgot. Hopefully, no one's too destroyed from that, sorry. Something's probably gonna be messed up going with that yellow happening so early. Yeah, we'll probably have that situation where some guys need to take a wave around. Should we go by the pace car or stay behind it? Oh, that's really going to screw things up. Because you guys didn't make it across the line, did you? No, no, I didn't make it across. That was the last one. I think we should let all of them go and then reset the uh, real piece. Probably, if you didn't cross the start finish line, it's going to end up waving you all around fucking one That's what I say. That guy shouldn't be pitting. He needs to take well, his wave around. Spend the caution. Unless they have damage, I guess. That's true. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, as soon as, as, soon as they all get their wave arounds and they all get past the pace car, then it's probably going to be good to extend it. Yeah. Nick, probably poking pace fun at Gavin. One. Or just poking fun at. Uh, the messed up. If we start pit, here. though, are we gonna get trapped or let down? Yep. Here, I'm gonna try and wave people around manually. Just hold on a second. Interesting. Hopefully, this gets all sorted out. Yeah, it's telling me to let the pace car by. I'm in 20 seconds. Five yeah, I'll clear penalties on this it's restart right. as well. Gavin's yeah, sending everybody around. I guess this will save Chuck, maybe. Pit road is closed. Race car is out. Pits are closed. Half that, 75. Hmm. Alright, I think things are looking okay now. Thanks, Gavin. I think that seemed to work. Pit road's open. We'll get another caution it's lap. Three, they're coming to pass you, buddy. I don't know why you keep not letting me pass you. Did you get me with that too, Gavin? I'm still... There's lots of peace for by me too. Hmm. Some guys just took off and didn't yeah, give me one second. wait for the pace car, I guess. Interesting. Lance well, is showing you on the lead lap right now in 19. Yeah, it seems to let the pace car by, though. I'm not sure what's going on. Gavin, I might need to wait because I think it's putting me a lap down. Yeah, you should have been with the other guys that were uh, in place to get the wave around. It sounds like you just didn't let the pace car by. Just restart where you are, Lance. I will uh, clear the black flags. Who just asked for the wave around? Who's still trapped a lap down? <laughs> what a mess. Talking. Warming our tires up. <laughs> oh boy, what a fun start. <laughs> oh yeah, which one though? I, I didn't look. See, Gavin lost his number again hey. too. Who took it? I think it was Alan Perry. Thomas he did. Just passed every, all of us, but he was in blue, so <laughs> looking like maybe he's a lap down. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Let the 100. Letting some guys go by. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Let the 37. Carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. Pit road okay, every, everything's looking okay to me, I think. Nick needs to be waved around the pace car. Matt, I gotta let you by. Yeah, Nick, 
Nick Nevin, too. He's coming uh, around now. He's in blue, so he's coming around the high side of everybody. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Nick and Alan two laps down right now, it says. Were they uh, damaged, though, and taking a fix? In NASCAR Thunder, I probably would have hit pause and pressed restart on this one. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That was very dumb of me. <laughs> All my fault, I take full responsibility for that. I'm trying to fix it here. Yeah, this has been a problem in iRacing for quite a long time now, this restart thing, so it's not really all your fault. Yeah, as soon as it happened, I figured it was going to happen. Like, as soon as that yellow one out. Sorry about that, Wesley. Pit road's open. So we're, uh... Full <laughs> course yellow, pits are open. Just got some rain, we're starting this under caution. <laughs> so long as we don't get that darn thunder or lightning. Pit road is closed right caution. now. Pits are closed. It's two statements in a row. I've used the word thunder. Let me know if the 77 car is flipping out. I'll get out of your way. I'm on Wi Fi right now. I'm uh, waiting a month to get an Ethernet connection, so. Okay, I think we're all good now. Unfortunately, I can't just let everyone fix their cars, or like, I can't give them a free reset or something, but I think we're back on the lead lap at least. Yeah, it looks like Alan went around. I'm just confused again. I was... Yep, standings are showing everybody on the lead lap, which should be good. I'm being let the pace car by, so I don't know what's going on. It's telling everybody to go past me? I, I don't know. It's what he thought. Yeah, since not everyone had crossed the line there, it just screwed everything up, and that's always a stupid glitch that happens. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. I think we're getting it figured out, though. I think this should be fine. He'll clear the black flags. Come on by, y'all. Yeah, just stay at the left. Get ready. Race the regime at the end of this lap. Just a small hiccup. Yeah, telling me I'm passing the pace car gave me a black. I always forget these are single file restarts. Just stay in line where you guys are at if it's telling you to move somewhere, and I'll clear the penalties, and then we'll just take it from here. Thank you. What a start to this one. <laughs> now, I, I'll have to wait a minute. I'll make sure to clear it when we're all across the start finish line, so it might take this a minute. I'm going to wait till we get to the uh, backstretch. But don't panic. I'm the last car in line. I'll tell you when to cross for something. Yeah. Hey, 34, go ahead and go past me. All right, we'll uh, try this again. This time, single file. Interesting start to this one for sure. About to go green. Single Stay file. Focused. Single file. Alright, everybody's in the right gear, I think. Should be good to go. Okay, I'm crossing. Yeah, everybody's got that all cleared up. Alright, hopefully we're good now. Sorry for that start, everyone. That was all me. <laughs> hey, I get a better jump, too, since it's single file. Really not sure what uh, is going to happen here with tires. I'll just take it easy, both entry and exit, I guess.
That was a 29.1. If the guy behind has just done a 29.2. Got a bit of a gap, so uh, more reason to, I guess, uh, lift off big. Be nice to the tires. Pretty loose out of four there. But keep an eye on that. Try not to not to do that too much. Rather be loose than tight, though. I will say that. Already got people in the relative, oddly enough. I guess because of a single file restart, just how far back they were. Pretty crazy how much of a difference that makes. so good though for this run parts feeling okay got a little bit of a gap that I enjoy just trying to keep it steady Gonna run the fuel dry, I suppose. If I didn't get to turn in, I needed that. Trying to keep it close to that white line down there. Most of your rotation, it feels like. Keeping it down low. Andrew back there. Keeping it pretty close. 0.7. Close on pace. So he's holding even. So uh, Billy had said at 18 laps he was had 40% right front. I don't think we're feeling that right now, thankfully. Your last lap time was at 29.8. I think it's actually getting looser. That's what I'm feeling right now. Internet's behaving so far. Haven't really had any issues, so hopefully, uh, firmware update that we did, all that good stuff is gonna be exactly what we needed. I did a uh, B Open race earlier today, made it through that, full race at Pocono. Didn't have any issues, so that's good. Loose on uh, exit two there. It's getting tighter on entry. Have to be careful with that. JP's in second. Let's 
see if uh, he starts catching. See if we maybe went a little too hard off the start here. That's always a concern if you've got a gap. Go ahead, really. Push too hard too early. pushed up into the wall. That was not a good corner. I gotta be easier now. Car is getting tighter. That means wait a little longer to get back on the throttle. Maybe lift off just a little bit more even. It's that extra two nearly got me last time. And a caution. I had no time to react to that. I apologize. Catch the pace car. Code brown alert. Checking up up here. I just squeezed me there. Wow, that scared me. Wow. Yeah, We're you gonna take wall, fuel dude. and tires, I, I think. I think we have to. Catch the pace car. You can go by me, 37. I think we've got enough tires, it'll be a smart idea to take some. All right. Don't speed or anything. Hopefully we'll get back out with the same spot. Five, three, two, one. Right here. A little easy into the box. 80-83. I don't know how Billy got 40%. I don't know what he was doing. 91-93. Line up, single file. Catch the six, car. 87-89. We had worse tires than pretty much everybody, but... 88 You're pretty well through that run. 82-91. I don't feel too bad about how that went. 85, 89. 90, 92. Lots of shared tires. That's always real nice to see. So maybe we lift off a little bit more to get the tires a little more even. Otherwise, feeling okay. Probably hurt myself telling people that you can push as hard as I did and be in a good spot, but still want to share tires. Be helpful. But I could definitely see the guys behind pushing harder this time. Did Ian take two tires or something? He's moved to second place, unless he just had a better stop. 41 of Eric getting the wave around. I think he was part of the crash. And uh, didn't get going until I passed him. Are open. It'll be single file restart again. Hopefully we'll get another good little gap to start off with as a result. One lap to green. Okay, Colton, get ready. Goes Race to 41. We'll take our place here. 
bump draft the pace car a little bit. <laughs> I just want to save some fuel and be down here for a second. Never know if you'll need that extra little bit. Lots of laps to do, so... Just want to try to uh, make the most of the fuel we have while we can. Seems like you can get on the gas pretty good on restarts without spinning out the tires. Not going to tempt fate too much though. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Green flag. All right, good launch. Happy with that. Big lift. Gonna have to lap traffic pretty quick, it looks like. People coming out of the pits and stuff. I think we should get around this guy here without too much issue, the 31. Thank you. Ian might have noticed that uh, I did pretty well, despite being worse on the tires. He's pushing a little harder, I think. Coming up on the 34. Hopefully we'll get plenty of room. Obviously it's a low line only track, pretty much. So hopefully he will give us that. Looks like he has the Sterling Marlin scheme going on there. Read, Rick. Yeah, we'll sideways. Feeling pretty good about how we're doing with the tires this time. I feel like uh, we should be able to get more on that right rear than the right front. Be very selective about when I'm putting my throttle down. What if aerotite is a thing with these cars? Maybe I should have taken tires. Gavin didn't take tires? The lap time was 29.5. I don't know about that move. Well, no till later. That's true. Don't work out for him later. I don't think we're going to get that many cautions, though. Maybe you have too much faith in us here, but... That's because you're becoming a road course alien. <laughs> they had a great yeah, 87's exactly. race at Daytona Road Course recently. Road Course Ringer. Where is the 34 going? That's not how you do that, but survive.
Guys will probably get by you easier 34 if you just take the middle or higher line. Probably safer that way. Alright. John, they got a decent blank. Two laps, fuel left in this run. Just gonna run it dry, I think. Felt a little bit tight there. I'm gonna have to back this thing down a little bit more. Almost two seconds back to third. Thank you, Michael. Ugh, just drifted through turn two there. I want to get it on the right rear, but that was a little bit too much. And that was not a good lap. Didn't really like how the car felt that lap. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. Ian holding at a pretty consistent point seven back there. Hey. That one was at thirty point three. Yeah, I'm still right behind you for a little while, I think. Pretty loose on exit. I have to watch out for that too. Entered a little too hard there. He actually used a little bit of brake to get that back to a speed I wanted. Got lap traffic up there. Will we reach it? Your lap time was 30.6. What we got going on here? We got guys on the apron. Was there contact somewhere? Interesting. Keep an eye out ahead. Not sure what we're gonna see coming around the next corner. We got actually a lot of lap traffic on the horizon now. You can go ahead, Matthew. Litter box changing going on behind me. Thank you. Sorry if that's loud. Thank you for doing that. Usually it's oh, the cat Mario, dropping yeah. more poopies in the litter box. Not the litter box being changed. Yeah, it was a bit silly. Alright, refocus myself. Okay, we're hitting our line. Yeah, I know I came up on turn four a little bit, uh, split up the track a little, but... Point eight behind. Got to pull up behind just now, not protect. Oh my goodness. 26 laps of fuel in this run. Overdrove that again a little bit, a tiny bit of break. Maybe I want to do that anyway. Maybe late run, if it gets real tight, we'll start using a little bit of brake on entry. Uh -oh. 
getting kind of tired. I need to get back into my rhythm here. Uh, loose on exit a little bit. Ian has gained back some. Oh, are we going to catch him on exit in a bad spot? Not quite. Car outside. Thankfully, he takes middle line. Appreciate that. I think I gotta focus on taking lower exits. I think I've been getting on throttle a little bit too soon, maybe. Internet's hung in there so far. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Could jinx it or anything. Gaining back a little bit on Ian, maybe. Got me a couple tenths there, and I was like, uh oh. Is he just now starting to push after saving his tires or something? Is he gonna fly by me? I'm not sure. Could still happen, but. At least, uh. Figured it out for now. That lap was at 31.1. Go ahead, Zachary. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna pit here next time. I'm trying to get around this car's handling bad. Yeah, I might do. They're too wide up ahead. Right, pitting, 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 pitting. Upper corner a little bit. We have to go high. Late decision, but uh, no harm done, I don't think. Pretty normal exit, all things considered. Guy has way up the track. I'm pitting the leaders, I'm pitting the leaders. Are we pitting? Which wasn't, but. That's killer, that kills me. It was multiple tents that corner. Ah, uh, we can get some more on exit, that's okay. I'm running this thing dry still, I think. Though so it is getting pretty loose. And maybe catching us again. Is it a mistake to go until the thing runs out? Hope not. I don't think it should be. Maybe I still use a tiny bit of brake on entry. Just the tiniest, tiniest bit. Let's help get this thing turned down a little bit. I don't think it could hurt too much. guys pitting in. Michael pitting in. He's doing really good in the full season standings. He's had some solid finishes. Got some points added up. Interesting to see he's on that strategy. Oh my goodness. I guess maybe it's guys that didn't take tires. That could be it. Go ahead, Nick. 
Yeah, I was being patient there. I saw you guys were two and three wide, but yes, I am. Yeah, thanks, Shane. Thanks, bud. But this thing is getting harder to control. Both tight on entry and get looser. Mid and late corner. Yeah, I'm losing the handle one back here. Yeah, I'm getting pretty loose on the exit now. Take the bottom. <laughs> Smooth. I think that's how we can. Gotcha. Thanks, bud. Be our best speed right now. It's just by uh, not getting too sideways, keeping it smooth. Not too sideways. Uh, throttle. Goodness, though, there's Gavin. Back on the lead lap. I didn't even see him coming. Let him by. It'll lose us some time, but the uh, guy behind him sure had to do it, too. Gonna need rubber soon to take it to the bad. That's interesting. I overdrove that. together now. Don't lose your focus. Oh, very sideways out of two. That's five minutes of fuel left. Getting closer to needing fuel. sideways now on throttle. It is a handful. Just gotta really watch out for that threaded four tire slide. Tires just don't want to give any grip at all. Just start getting way too close to the outside wall before you know it. That's the very scary feeling, so we're gonna have to just really watch out for that. Green flag pit stops are in progress, though. No yellow yet. We're well, getting on pit road safely. The last lap time was at 31.6. We'll have to get on pit road safely, too. Ian's only half a second behind. He's kept up this whole run. Good consistency. Keep him coming. Plus they go by me here. Who? Wesley. <laughs> Wesley didn't hear me. Thank you. I was just chilling on the split. You want Wesley? Don't have my eye relative up. <laughs> Wesley is one of the little go pet. Don't see any reason why we can't just go uh, full length. 
of this run. Yeah, go to ahead. To be honest, man. I don't have much experience coming up with strategies in races that require like two or more green flag I stops. I don't know how long this can last. Bad corner. Not a great corner. Bad on this time. Tracy pitting in. I'm very tight. In three and four. Come in when there's two laps left of fuel, I think. So that way, if I miss my pit entry, we have another shot. Code, I'm hitting this lap. Could be a mistake on pit entry. These guys get started with it. Pitting the time, pitting the time. Benjamin, I'm. Point eight behind us now. Twenty-two pitting this time. Pitting this. Oh, it's really wanting to slide out into that wall. Coming in, not this lap. I think we might be coming in next lap. Though. Pit. Eighty-eight. I'm pitting. Car's real tight. I think we're gonna wanna. Twenty-four. I saw Wesley up there on his right front. I think we're about to blow a little tire. Clear inside. I'm pitting in this lap. This lap pitting in. Pitting in this lap. Pitting in this lap. Pitting in this lap. Twenty-five. I'm pitting. Number sixty-seven pitting. Sixty-seven right. is pitting. Got in safely. We'll need to stop again. Take our fuel. We're all the way at the end. Pitting next time. Five. Three. Two. No grip on the tire, so let's break early. Okay. Stop. Eleven thirty. Seventy seven pitting. All clear, punch it. The lead is now. Alright, this counts too. Gotta get off pit road quickly. this spot. I really don't want to be side by side, but... Alright. So he's got a lap older tires. I think he had a better uh, pit stop sequence than us. survive though, don't speed or anything, so. There's a car rejoining in front. Go on, Dalton. You're in second position right now. Outside. Outside, clear. Thanks. I want to do my turn before I can reply to him. So, what's the fuel situation? 
41 laps. That was close, Billy. I wasn't expecting the speed difference. 110. Yeah. When did Tracy pit? I'm curious. He pit three laps sooner. So we have three lap fresher tires. Okay, easy now. Lots of people all over the track now. All different places. That could get interesting. Oh my god, what was that? That was quite the pit entry, but everyone's okay. Hit from the middle lanes, usually not a good idea. It's hard to keep it stuck down there, though, with old tires, I know that. Here. Gonna have to keep it low here. The car outside. Outside, he's clear. Past Tracy. Alright. Got that done. Thankfully didn't take too much time. A lot of people will have to get around though, these black cars. We are back in the lead though, that's cool. You're back in the lead. Hey, that's what I said. Feeling pretty good. What happened to Ian? He, he couldn't have pit much later, right? Like. Gosh, this is a... There's some, uh, a bunch of cars ahead of us. We're a little concerned about how this is going to go. Oh my gosh, they're bumping into one another. Can't waste time, guys. That is not what I want to see. Go ahead, Warren. Thank you. It's driving in the middle for some reason. I'm still wondering what happened to Ian. He was right behind us. He's in fourth right now, it says. So it wasn't a uh, penalty or anything, at least. Driving a little bit, the excitement got my adrenaline going. Has me over driving corners, I think. Yeah, 
checking the deficits. Or they're back. It's harder for me to see since uh, we got lap traffic everywhere. going on ahead. That's my exit, unfortunately. Slow down early. Mine. Loose. That feels like it's getting tighter. Because it feels like it got tight sooner in this run. Unless that's all me. Hopefully not. And make sure we don't overdrive. Guy head pitting, not to Bryce, but next guy forward. No. I don't feel like we're much faster than Bryce, so this is kind of awkward. I get it. I get it. Not too bad. I just had to get him on exit. Not much of an issue. Ian is back in second. Definitely not point five behind though. I'm not sure if he just had a slower stop or what. More issues going through traffic? No idea. But uh, gained a little bit through the pit stops. Just Makes me feel good because he was uncomfortably close most of that r last run. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. That really doesn't tell me much. Can I get that in laps, please? What is minutes? Is that metric system? <laughs> Only two laps. Oh, a wall ahead. Saw a big wall hit. That was Nick's dad. Had a really great race with him recently in the K5 Championship. On dirt. He was really fast. Uh, where was it? 
It wasn't Volusia. It was the one after that. Sorry, I'm new to these dirt tracks, so like I don't even remember what they're called. <laughs> um, where was it? It was a smaller track. I remember that. I don't remember. I can't think about it right now. I'm gonna lose my focus and crash, but it was a good race. I enjoyed it. Was it like dirt linear? Maybe it might have been dirt linear. I think that's what it was. Yeah, it was. We were pretty similar on pace until he started taking the high line late in the race and then just took off like a rocket. Left me in the dust. <laughs> but I still I finished uh, better than yeah, I thought I would that yeah. race still, so I was happy with it. Just making the feature in those races is fun. I might start recording those soon. Yeah. I'm starting to get more comfortable in the Dirt Pro Late model. Might be able to give some commentary. I'll see how I'm feeling on Sunday. I've got a really cool new paint scheme now. Uh, thank you to Logan on teeth. Might be how you pronounce it. <laughs> he made me a setup for the Dirt Pro Late model just uh, because he's really cool and awesome. Can't think of any other reason he would get my slow, pathetic driving car to be slow in. <laughs> but uh, very nice of him. I've got a true grape car now. It's got welches on it. It's so funny. And uh, very good looking too. So really cool of him to do that. So even more incentive to record it now that I've, uh, I'm looking good out there. Being in last. Oh my god. Whoa. That was a snap I have not felt yet. I think. Oh, we get someone coming around the outside. Still there, hold your line. Outside, clear. I'm gonna have to be careful. I must have just had too much wheel in it that exit. Because that was the first time it snapped on me like that. Don't want to feel that again. That was not a good feeling. I do not think the uh, car liked that either. Gavin's coming up. Get from the bottom. Guys on different uh, strategies, so. Really? You're, you are not on new tires, are you? Maybe. That was not really necessary, I don't think, though. Well, maybe it's just me, but not like that. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Outside, clear. Looking good, Colton. Just gotta hope my dial-up internet hangs in there. Oh, you're good. I just wasn't expecting it. No harm done. Go ahead, I one. We are fine. We in 2.3 back. This car's not doing great. I might have overdriven this run. Oh my gosh, the car is not feeling happy. I had a couple moments this run that I didn't happen in, have in the last run. That might have been good for my long-term health. So coming out of the pits. This is cool how like we got some different strategies going on. Interesting to see how things converge. There's that warning. No one hitting the slot, Nick. Careful.
Taking that again. I feel like Ian has to be like catching me pretty pretty good. I don't feel like I'm running very well right now. Oh, I'm sorry, Ben. I really fucked up that corner. Take the input here. Five minutes of fuel remaining. About 11 laps, I think Eric wants by. Inside. Still there. Clear. I need him to go though. It's gonna pass. Alright, got that done. You think Ian's catching at the moment? Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Not sure what moment Eric just had there. 85 pitting. He's pitting. He's trying to undercut me. pitting now too. Interesting. I might have to come in soon, especially if Eric's going to be sitting in front of me. I think we come in here. Fitting in here. Twenty pitting. Okay. We're good though. Twenty nine. Ooh, not speed. Be careful. Be careful. careful. Pit box team ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. Yes. I'm gonna be pitting on this time. Go back. Bit of a bad entry. Twenty nine forty two. I don't have time to type that. I gotta get ready to go already. Oh, we had another set of tires. <laughs> Never mind, I guess I could have typed it, but... All clear. Punch it. The lead is hitting now. Hitting this lap, 01. Jordan and Zach go home. Hitting this time. 22. Hitting this time. Oh, there's Ian. We do not get to stay out in front of him. That's exactly what he wanted. We have one lap fresher tires, but what difference is that going to make? Not much. The leader is coming up on you. They're not at fight. Outside. Outside is clear. We got loose. I still got to pit again, so we'll pit in the middle of this run. Got how many laps to go? Oh my gosh, I've got to do math and I'm looking around me and being scared. Okay, we have 57 laps to go. Hit at 130. Sound about right? That should be about right. Alright, Colton, we're matching race pace. V6. All these different strategies going on. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. 
clear. Ian kind of forced my hand there. I had to come in pit, or else he was going to get a huge advantage. Get back in pit. I'm going to try to save tires better this time. Outside. Outside, clear. Oh, boy. Hugely different speeds right now. Oh boy. Exit a little bit. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside. That was at 29.6. Oh, I almost got the wall. I'm really pushing it to the edge. I don't know if I should be. But at least on exit I am. Thank you. And got loose. 67 is pitting. 67 is pitting. That one was at 29.6. Now this is actually going to be a shorter run, so maybe we don't save as much. I didn't even think about that. I'm sitting here as well, Eric and Tracy. The next car's the leader. The leader's fitting now. The car behind you, Pitty. You're back in second. The car behind is now 4.6 seconds. The car outside. Clear high. Car outside, the next car's the leader. Still there. Still there. Alright, we are side by side. Stay low, there was a car on the high side. I have to be smart about this. You are the leader, nice and smooth. Last lap time was at 29.9. Clear outside. Outside. Clear. Alright, made that pass. When do we pit? It's a very important question. The lock time was 30.0. Gavin. Yeah, no problem. What a great run this is, by the way. I feel like I have not stated that enough. Two green flag pit stops? That is so cool. Especially to be able to do that in the Gen 4. Oh, almost a wreck there. Really came off the wall a little bit. Hang on, Dora Gregory. Uh oh. Oh no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it to the internet. Then that's not happening. Then that's not happening.
Kevin up there. Emma Lane. Still there. Clear. Thank you. Cut it a little close there. Didn't mean to cut it that close, but just trying to optimize my corners. Maybe we just uh, wait for Ian to pit. Unless he waits way too long. Maybe we just react to what he does. He's about a second behind right now, 1.1. Maybe if we start losing to him again. Then that's when we pit. Let's we'll see. Lap lap time was 30.7. What? Ugh. The answer clock behind is now 1.2 seconds. Still gaining on Ian at the moment. Yeah, the behind seems pretty fast. He's on the same left old tires, but they might be better for him right now. That last lap was a 30.8. That time's are pretty consistent. Getting closer to the end of this one. We have one more pit stop left. Oh, very sideways. Not good. Not what. That was a lot of momentum lost. Alright, that's 40 to go, I believe. That's still quite a bit. I know I said we're getting closer to the end, but that's still a nice chunk of laps. We can make it on fuel if we pit now. That's good to know. So I'm going to keep an eye on Ian back there. Probably pit when uh, a lap after he does. I'd do it on the same lap, but uh, kind of hard to predict the future at all. <laughs> maybe if he calls it out in enough time, maybe I can. But I'll probably, uh, that's probably not a good idea anyway, because I'd probably make a mistake if I uh, make too much of an impulse decision on pit entry. What a fun race, though. What, what more could I ask for? I mean, I love Texas. One of my favorite tracks. Probably my favorite car on iRacing. 167 laps here. Green flag pit stops. It's like it's the it's basically the perfect race. <laughs> if I were to like build a race that was just my favorite possible combination of factors, it would probably be this, to be honest. Okay, Colton. So very happy to be doing well here in this one. Until my internet cuts out. On lap 166. Can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, at this point, like, I'm not going to be too upset if that happens. Like, first time it happened, it was, like, crushing. Because it, I just I never saw it coming. Never thought it was a possibility. But now it's like, I entered the race knowing it could happen. 
And if it starts happening, it's going to be so disappointing, but I mean, it is what it is. I knew it was a potential heading in, but I've had fun already, so... I'm already, uh, I'm already putting myself in that mindset so that way I just don't get, make it depressed if it happens. I think I say is true. I've already had a great time here tonight, that's the whole point. Is he still back there? He is, okay. Gotta remember to keep an eye on that. Don't want him to pull off too much of an undercut. Oh man, what am I seeing up ahead? Clear high. No smoke in the air. I wonder if someone got loose or if they headed into the pits or something. really tight for some reason. Couldn't just let off for me. That's okay. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear. Make the bottom. Inside. Clear. He's got fresher tires, he's on some sort of alternate strategy. And 1.5 back. And I have to watch out for these guys that are uh, pitting too. Might pit now. Soon. Oh, smoke. Fitting the time zero one. Nah, we got 6.3 back to P3. I think we just... I think we just wait till Ian pits. This is the okay. guy that we most need to be concerned about right now. get to be in Nick's video for a little bit. A Messing around in his rear view mirror. <laughs> you might not have had a very fun event here today because oh wow we got now someone zooming. I didn't even see him coming otherwise I would have even moved out him. Thank you. Might be time to pit just to avoid some of this lap traffic stuff that could slow us down. I think Lance is going to catch back up to us in a moment. I don't really want to announce it, but I will. Pitting in this lap. I'm pitting in this lap. Pitting this lap. Pitting as well. Ian following me. I'll stop pitting. Clear high. Okay, Colton. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. Watch your speed limit. That's on. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Pit bump. Ooh, that's not true. We don't need to stop again to get to the end. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. 42.57, pretty online, in line with what we've had so far in this race. Oh, my hands kind of hurt. Once I relaxed my hands right now, I kind of started feeling sore. 
We got more work to do, though. He undercut it by five laps. We're gonna have to get around him now. I'm doing interested uh, to see if have any more guys have to uh, undercut. Who's inside? Pass him on exit. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. The next car's the leader. Clear up top. Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. Alright. What do we got? We got Wesley up ahead. He's with the Dale Jarrett looking car. Around him, I don't know if it's pink yet. 133, okay, yeah, he did. He just did a major undercut. I think we're in the lead again. You are the leader. Yes. Great, great, great. Okay, it's cool. We uh, have good tires. Equal with Ian. On tires. Is Nick going to give us the bottom? He is. Car outside. Outside is clear. Now the question is, can the internet hold on? <laughs> That's my biggest enemy right now, I believe. It's behaved ever since I made the updates. Gavin in front of us. Car outside. Outside, clear. He's on older tires, I think. Ellen. Outside, 29.4. Clear outside if you want it. Okay, Colton. Cup times are pretty consistent. Damn it. Sorry. No cautions, please. I really felt bad. No cautions, please. Truly really unfortunate. No, I see a lot of smoke. I guess they're okay. Four. Car feels great. Don't need to worry too much about say. Uh oh, new bar. Please, don't do this to me. No, you want to. Don't do it. Good, going away. Okay. Yes, sir. Outside. Outside, clear. That guy is kind of Outside. on a low line. Get under him, though. Go low, clear. Got a 3.2 second lead.
My butt hurts. I'll be honest. It's sore. It hasn't been a long race, but I guess it could have been a lot longer if we were setting precautions. That's why I'm thankful about that. Guys coming up. He's gonna stay at high. Six, I'm not there yet. Thank you. It's been fun. We've had lap cars to go around and drive around. It can be a bit stressful, but it's pretty fun too, doing some driving. A little bit of spice to the race. Tighter now, mid corner. Take the inside and one or two Colton. Now, God. Still there, hold your line. Now, God, clear. Thanks, man. No problem. Cut pretty loose on, uh, Exit there. Got new tires coming up on us? Yeah, just a lap newer. Is he gonna want by? No. He's not racing anyone around him. We are uh, almost to 10 laps to go. As much reason don't we want to get around. But if he tries that, I'm obviously going to let him go. 3.3 back to Ian. That was a 30.7. I thought the Tabasco cars were orange. Are there red ones too? I wonder if there was like a red variety, I don't remember. They are battling for 11. You just done a 30 point I kinda understand. Like they're side by side right now. Don't wanna wait too long though, because I know Ian has been long better on longer runs. You're right here, Colton. Outside. Outside, clear. Thank you. Got 10 left to go. Outside. Clear. All right. We've lapped up to up past 11th. Internet still holding on for dear life. That last lap was at 30.9. Good consistency. Keep it coming. I think the 22 is holding on for us. I appreciate him for that. Cap 2. Plug behind is now. I have better tires right now. Therefore, more speed. I think he's just kind of hanging out back there. It's very nice of him to do. If that is the case. That lap was at 30.9.
3.3 back. Just holding even with uh, Ian back there. Not really gaining. But not losing either, thankfully. You're good, Chuck. Go get him. Thank you. Got John next up. And P10 up there. This is going to be the first race unless something crazy happens. He has not won that he entered. He has been completely dominant in every race he's been in. Well, he had a photo finish. I mean, like, when he shows up, he wins so far. I'm sure he'd probably have the uh, championship lead. Missed a couple. Very, very fast. Five left to go. That one was at 31.0. Kind of loose. Be gentle on throttle. Still much better than being tight. Hitting in there, that's Nick. You not making on fuel? Was he trying to do a fuel thing? Oh. That's interesting. Look forward to watching his video, see what uh, happened in his race. He was definitely on a different strategy than we were. It's always fun to see the approaches guys take. I know Gavin, after that first caution, didn't take tires. Let's see how that looked. Three to go. Caution comes out now. Race will be over, I believe. So I just gotta not be in a crash myself, and I think we are doing good. There's Nick coming out of the pits. He'll be fast, assuming he gets tires. He might have just splash and go, though, if it was a fuel situation thing. Sorry, I did not mean to block you. I just got super loose for some reason. Hands gotta hurt. Yeah, I gotta ease up on the wheel. Tense, man. Tense. The captain clock behind is now point one six. Keep him low here, so we uh, oh keep the lane Real up top. White flag. Nick might let me go if he wants to do one last lap. <laughs> He's done that before. I have to be ready for that. All right, we did it. You <laughs> dominated. Yeah, good job, man. It was fun there for one cent. You won. Yeah, I think I've been by myself about 90%. Oh, my butt hurts. <laughs> kind of going last. We did it, though. Yeah, Yay! Everybody. Love this track. Love this car. Really hoping for a late yellow right there. I was saving so much just that whole run. Yeah, late yellow would have been perfect. I had one more set of tires for it. Congrats, Colton. Good race, guys. Pure domination. Great win. That was a fun <laughs> run. Sorry again for the stupidity at the beginning. I'll take full responsibility for all of that. Good race, everybody. Good job, Colton. Okay, the race is Thanks, over. guys. Great race. That was awesome. That was at, what, three green flag stops? So cool. That's awesome. Yeah, great win, Colton. Good race. Great job, Colton. Good job, Colton. That was a really fun race, Woo!
All right, that'll be our celebration. Good win, Colton. Good <laughs> race, everybody. You forgot to invite me to follow you through. <laughs> and I was terrified of the yellow coming out when I saw you on the Ethan John. My bad, Alan. <laughs> I was praying for a yellow. I was going long each time, and it just fell further and further behind on the old tires. Yeah, I was coming out of the pits after short pitting, and I think I think I pit for my nine fifty eight on that last run. I was going hard and, though. Uh, just got over the bumps wrong, wrong, and completely spun me out. I, I was full lock to the right track. Oh, John had a spin out. Interesting. That's probably what hurt him. He still gets a top ten too, even with that. So. That says a lot about how fast he is. Here's your finishing order. Alan beats Nick by his spot. You know he's not going to like that. <laughs> Nick's not going to be happy about that. But it was a great race. So many green flag laps. I mean, we had stuff at the start. Oh, this is practice. So, all right. We had the stuff at the start. Then one kind of early. And then look at that. I forgot about this one. No, that's for, that's green flag pits. All of this. Those are green flag pit stops. That is awesome, man. So much fun. Love this league. That's so cool. Alright, so we will go ahead and check the incidents. I think we're just going to look at the major events, the cautions... We'll see how fast the incidents are going. Might not be too many wall hits or anything to deal with. So, okay, here's the starting thing. Oh, Nick was in it. Oh my gosh, and it was Gavin. He was in fourth gear. Yeah, just a stack up. And then Michael gets in the back of uh, Eric here. Just because, I mean, you don't expect it to be checking up that much. I think guys were even being pretty careful. As you know, tire spin. Uh, Nick just gets destroyed right from the start. What a bummer. Hate that for everybody involved. Just to have your race thrown off course that quickly like that. So unfortunate. Restarts are, uh, are dangerous in this car. Usually for different reasons, but that trend continued here. So that's what happened on the initial start. And then there's a bunch of nonsense going on with... Uh, Trying to figure out the running order and everything, the scoring. So we'll skip ahead and take a look at what the caution was. It should be here any moment. 27 just turns into Nick. And, uh... Nick's not having a great fun time, is he? Yeah, I don't know if the 27 just didn't know he was there. Or what. But he turns into him, for sure. And then gets him all unsettled. Nick's had some bad luck in general in this series. Holding on, doing it the best he can, but then the 27 gets hit. That's 77. It's all happening in front of him. Blinking. But uh, then the 27 comes down off the wall, and that spin right there is what brings out the caution, I'm fairly certain. Anybody else get into this? A couple people that have already been in trouble fortunately finding some more that's a really nice looking tide car i really like the gradient people hate on gradients i kind of, i like gradients huh. all right no he's rolling backwards so we're seeing too much of it but uh i guess we will move along further in the race any nonsense happen around the green flag pit stops? Probably not. Such a clean race. Yeah, nothing really going on there. In fact, we're going to get a lot of people uh, just being uh, wearing their tires out. So, I mean, that's probably all we're going to see. 
skip ahead a little bit, see if we find anything. Nah, we're not gonna see anything. It was it was too clean of a race for the incidents. <laughs> that's what uh that's my conclusion here. Gavin's fast slap on 131. Yeah, nothing to speak of, basically, through all this. So, excellent race. Really sucks for the guys that had trouble early. Because then they had a whole lot of laps to do with uh, non-optimal conditions. Which is less fun. But, here are your results. Should have pulled up right there. Alright, there we go. We get the win, and we get the fastest lap. Oh boy, we are... I think we got max points here today. We get the fastest lap. We've got most laps led, lap led. Win the race. Great day. Really love to be able to pull it off at one of my favorite tracks. Ian gave us a good run. He ends up 3.2 back. We, uh, we gained some on those green flag pit stops, it felt like. So I'm glad I practiced those. Tracy, 10 seconds back. And JP, followed by Andrew to round up your top five. Where is your... Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't mention this at all, but your championship leader was not able to make it tonight. Uh, I remember he said something on Discord about it, but you'll see. No championship leader to speak of. So it'll be really interesting. We'll look at the uh, points in just a moment. And take a look at where uh, where we are after all that, but no Kevin. So Gavin and Nick both kind of had. Uh, well, Gavin had an okay race. He just had that bad start. Sixteenth place is not too bad. Nick uh, still hangs in there, gets thirtieth. But they're of course both ones to watch. Gavin high up in the standings as well. We'll go ahead and look at that now. So, I guess it makes more sense to watch me while I'm getting this all loaded up. <laughs> so, no, uh, what you call them, no stage points or anything in this. So, these are all, uh, all these stats are accurate as of right now. Currently navigating myself to the Diet Dr. Pepper series league standings. And there is a new name atop the leaderboard, but no, it is not me. <laughs> it is, in fact, da da da. Eh? There it is, Gavin. Gavin has taken over the lead of the championship with a solid 16th place finish, and you'll see Kevin down in third still after not showing up, but a big hit to his point total. We are going to be P2 at the moment with our second win of the season. Really wish I hadn't lagged out of Bristol. Would have really helped out there. But things happen. It's a long season. People are uh, not able to make every race. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So that is about all I have for you today. Go ahead and bring this back up. As I say, thank you for watching. That was a very fun race. Like I said, basically the perfect combination of all my favorite race cars and tracks. Couldn't could have been much better for me. And uh, we get the victory here. And I had a lot of fun doing it. So appreciate you. Have a good one. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.